Well, hello. Welcome back to Color and Canvas. And uh, so I have a 16 by 20 canvas. And I'm using my leftover drips, which you know I scrape them off when I do a pour and save them in a cup. And I have gray today. So let's go with a very neutral palette today. And we're going to go with this gray for our base coat. Our other colors are a mixture of brands and colors. This is copper from Artist Loft mixed with Floetrol. These are my mixed blues. There's some uh, brilliant blue from Artist Loft in here. There's some flow acrylic in here. It's all mixed with Floetrol and water and glue in this bottle. So everything's a little different. Uh, this is my Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed just with water because I was using that for Dutch Pour earlier. Uh, Amsterdam Titanium White, again, mixed just with water. And, ooh, here's a, here's a bit of a mess. I had some uh, brass left over, a really nice, um, oh yeah, Deco Art Metallics. Some kind of brass color. I've covered it up, I can't even tell. <laughs> okay, let's uncover it and see. This is Antique Brass really really dark color but I had a cup with some 24 karat gold in it and I didn't want to throw it away so I just threw some brass in there so this is half brass half 24 karat gold it's a really cool color and this is just my uh, Decorart Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold that I've mixed with Floetrol and so those are the colors so I'll just get this base coat put down and uh, we'll get started So I've wet the paper towel, as you can see, just sprayed it with some water. And I'm going to swipe right down the center, I hope. Swipe one way. Pick it up, bring it right back, and swipe again the other way. Not bad, not bad. I'm not thrilled. I, I'm not thrilled with that gray, but let's just continue. One more, exactly like that. Oops. And we'll see what we get. I missed a section entirely there. Oh, that was bad. It's a little 
unpredictable, especially if you're not so great at it like me. Definitely gonna have to swipe again. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's what to not do when you're swiping is to totally mess it up. Wow, that, that could have been really great. But let's try it again. Let's just add a bit more paint on here and we'll go again. And since there's so much beautiful paint in the middle, I say we just swipe a little bit more. And I have some plastic, so I think I'm going to be swiping with my plastic. And just see whether we can get to be a little more interesting than it is right now. Because there's way too much paint on here. added too much. It's got to come off. If it's going to come off, there's two ways. You're either going to swipe it off or you're going to tilt it off. And I'm not going to tilt it. So if we're not going to tilt it, we're going to swipe it. One little swipe at a time. We're going to see a lot of beautiful metallics coming out. A few little stripes of lovely color. Missed a spot there. making that spot worse, so I'm going to step away from it. Let's do a few more swipes here on this side, and then we'll turn it around. And see what happens when we swipe the other way. Look at all that blue that was hiding in there, huh?
We'll touch up that corner after. There may be more work to do on there. Turn this around. All right, let's continue on this side and see what we can find. Start in the center. I almost want to leave it, but we'll start in the center. A lot of white in the center. was a little stripey. Hopefully some cells will come out of there. A little wobbly on that one. Gotta move my mat over. So there is incarnation number two of our swipe. And that's that. And then a little bit more tilting. Let that horizon line move some more. Let those cells move some more. But we don't want to mess them up too badly. And I might leave it just the way that it is because it's very very interesting bet you haven't seen another one like it <laughs> that's the beauty of the fluid art there are no two alike you can try and make two alike they're never going to come out alike they're all going to be a little different this is really cool looking 
Let's see what we can do to clean up the sides. And uh, yeah, we'll call it done. All right. Uh, thanks for watching our our little uh, throwback uh, video to what we learned way back in the day. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was fun. We'll see what happens when it dries. I think some more things are going to pop up here. Anyways, have a great day. Go paint something nice. Bye-bye.